my dad used to play on uh, on a senior main men's league baseball team when I was a kid, and they used to play. There was a baseball field. There still is a baseball field in the Larry right next to the elementary school, and Dad would go in there and, uh, you know, a couple nights a week and play softball in this league. And I don't know what was going on this one night. Maybe Mom wasn't around and Dad needed to take my brother and I, or maybe we just wanted to go, whatever. It was a summer's evening, and we went into a Larry with Dad anyway. And because the baseball diamond was right next to the school, there was a playground there and slides and swings and all that stuff. So, of course, the, the baseball didn't interest me that much uh, at the time, but the playground and stuff was cool. So as soon as we got there, I piled out of the truck and headed over to uh, the playground equipment. And there was some older kids there that I had recognized from school, like they were like maybe grade sixers or, or whatever, or just some other older kids from the community. I don't remember exactly who it was, but I do remember this. They were the, they were the bad kids. They were all wearing like, they all looked like Axl Rose, basically. They all had like the long straight rock hair and denim jackets with like spikes on them and back patches, Def Leppard back patches and stuff. I remember that. And anyway, they're all sitting over there smoking. And uh, I, me and my brother were playing around and these kids were off to one side, not too far from us, smoking cigarettes. And I was a lot, I was a lot, like I might have been, I don't know, well, I was in elementary school, so it's probably six or seven, like I was just a little fella. And uh, one, of the, one of the guys goes, hey kids, you know, hey, hey, come on over here for a second. And I looked at my brother and my brother was like, no, nah, man, we're not going over there. And I was like, I'm, I'm going to go. And Jarvis was like, fine, I'm leaving. So anyway, he let me go. And uh, I went over to the older kids and they were like, hey, you want to smoke cigarettes? You want to smoke? I was like... I can't remember if I played it cool or if I was like, whatever, but I was like, yeah, sure, I'll smoke, I smoke, sure, I'll have a smoke. So they handed me the cigarette and I had a big puff off it and I'm sure I coughed and turned blue and did all that stuff and they, exactly the reaction they were looking for, basically, right? Like some kid hacking up a lung, so I did that and that was fine, that's all it was. It, it wasn't anything more than that, but uh, I went back to playing or whatever, but when I got back in the truck with Dad, started going through my head. I was like, he's going to catch me. He's going to catch me. He's going to catch me. So we're driving home from O'Leary. We're about halfway between home and O'Leary, about halfway there. And uh, I get this in my head. I'm like, yeah, so dad, when we get home, I'm going to try out your new scope, that new scope in the bathroom. I think I'm going to try that. And he looked at me and he goes, Daniel, were you smoking? And then I was caught, right? Because I'm sure he could probably smell it off me a bit or whatever, but as soon as I said, yeah, Dad, I'm going to go home and I'm going to try out your new scope, I just totally sold myself down the river. And 